introducing the brand new collections feature on Eventbrite. This feature allows organizers to group their events together into a series on a single page, empowering you with the tools needed to create, manage, and showcase your event programs consisting of multiple separate events efficiently. The flexibility to create series as collections will help to build your brand and audience and grow your business. Click Collections in your event workspace. You'll see collections you have previously built and a button to create a new collection. If you do not have access to a collections, request your account owner or administrator add Manage Collections permission to your role. Your first step is clicking the button to create a collection and giving your collection a name in the modal window that pops up. This is a name attendees will see as the title of your collection. After you have named your collection, you are brought to a page to manage events in your collection. From here, you add existing events in your account by using the search field, clicking the Start Adding Your Events link, or selecting Recommended Events below. Click on the search field and a list of your events will populate. You can scroll through the list to find an event to add, or you can start typing the event title to find your event faster. When you click Start Adding Events to your collection, it will populate the same list for you to choose an event. To add the event, click Add on the event either from the drop-down or Recommended Events below. You can add public, private, and draft events to a collection, but please note that only public events that are published will show to the general public. The draft and private events will remain in the collection but will not be visible until published as a public event. Once you have selected your first event to include, the screen will update with events in your collection at the top and recommended events at the bottom. You can either use the search field again or click where it says Add Another Event. If you want to remove an event from the collection, hover to the right of the event status and a trash can icon will appear with the word Remove to the right. Click the trash can and it is gone. This will not delete your event, it just removes it from the collection. You must add one event to your collection before moving forward and you can add up to 100 events. You can add events to multiple collections. For instance, if you have a science event for children, you can add it to a science collection as well as a children's collection. Once you have added events, click continue. You can always return to add or remove events later. The next step is your page details. This is where you design your collection page. First is your collection name, where you can edit the name you originally gave the collection. If you have multiple organizer profiles in your account, you can choose which organizer is presenting this collection. There is a link below the drop-down if you need to edit organizer profiles in your organization. We have a video linked below to help you with that process. Below is your collection image that will appear as a banner across the top of your collection. The banner is a 3 to 1 ratio, which means the image needs to be 3 times as wide as it is high. If your photo does not fit that ratio, there is a cropping tool for you to choose the area of that image to include. The center of the image will appear on the collections page listing. You can have up to 255 characters to describe your collection. Once you finish, click Save and Continue. Now let's move to the Publish section. Here you can click Preview, which opens a preview of your event in a new tab on your browser. Toggle over the computer and phone icons to see two different ways your device will present. Once you decide everything looks good, exit the preview and you can launch your collection by clicking Publish Collection. If for any reason you decide you would like to remove a collection, you can hover over the Event Status button and click Unpublish which will put your collection back into a draft status or delete the collection which will permanently remove it from your account. You can also delete directly in the Collection tab by clicking the three dots on the collection card. Now it's time to get the word out about your event by promoting it. Sharing tools are found in the Publish and Share page in your collection, and also by clicking the three dots on your collection card in the Event Workspace. 
Here you'll see your collection URL which you can copy as well as social sharing tools that make it easy to create a post. There's also a link to use Eventbrite Boost to create an ad campaign. We have other videos linked below about additional marketing tools Eventbrite offers. Your collections will appear on your organizer profile and at the bottom of your event listings. Additionally, the collection is featured on the event listing with other events included in the collection listed below the event description. And that's it. For more help planning your next event with Eventbrite, sign up for an interactive Eventbrite Academy or visit our Help Center, blog, or YouTube channel.